Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing pan balance problems using two pan balances. Our learning target for today is I can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to solve pan balance problems with two unknowns. So as we work through these problems today, we're going to be using a little bit of what we learned yesterday and some new learning on top of that. So let's remember that what we learned yesterday is whenever you take something off of one side of the pan balance, you have to take something off the other side as well. And we have to take equal amounts off so that they stay balanced. So let me show you how this works. This first problem here, what we need to figure out is how many coins is equal to how many paper clips. So one coin is equal to how many paper clips. Now, we can't solve this problem here, not yet, because uh, we have a pen and we have a coin. Those aren't equal things, they're different. So we couldn't just take, say, half of the paper clips and assign it to a coin and half of the paper clips and assign it to a pen. It just doesn't work that way. So instead, we have to solve the first pan balance up here first. So what we'll do is we'll say, okay, two pens is equal to 10 paper clips. So we can take half off of one side. So I'm going to take off one pen, half, and I'm going to take off half of the paper clips. So I'm going to take off five. So now we know that one pen is equal to five paper clips. So now we can begin to solve the second pan balance problem. So what I'd like to do is take what we know from this first problem here, one pen equals five paper clips, and we're gonna do a substitution. So I'm going to remove one pen and substitute in five paper clips. Now we have things that we can take off of both sides of the pan balance. So now I have paper clips on this side and I have paper clips on this side. So I have a coin and five paper clips is equal to 17 paper clips. So I can take off five paper clips from one side. One, two, three, four, five. And then I of course have to take off five paper clips from the other side. Now I'm left with just two things. So I have one coin is equal to 12 paper clips. We're going to apply the same principle here. As we look at the second pan balance, what I want to figure out is how many marbles is one coin equal to? Well, I don't even have any marbles on this side of the pan balance, so there's no way that I can figure this part out. So that's okay. It's a two pan balance problem. So we're going to solve the first one first. So first I need to figure out how many parallelograms is equal to how many marbles. Okay, so we have three parallelograms and six marbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by three on each side. So I can take away a third of the parallelograms. That's one third and I'll take away a third of the marbles. I'm going to take away another parallelogram and I'll take away another two marbles. So now I know that one parallelogram is equal to two marbles. Now I'm trying to figure out how many coins is equal to how many marbles. One coin is worth how many marbles. So obviously I can't do anything to start taking things off yet. So what I need to do is I need to do some substitution. I look back up here. One parallelogram equals two marbles. So I'm going to switch out one parallelogram for two marbles. And I'm going to switch out another parallelogram for two marbles. Now I only have two things that I'm working with. So I can figure out that I can take off two marbles from this side, and I can take off two marbles from this side. So one coin 
equals two marbles. Okay, I'm going to show you another example here. I have a two liter bottle of Pepsi and two marbles and that is equal to 12 marbles. What I need to figure out is an apple pie. How many marbles is that equal to? So an apple pie is equal to two Pepsis, but I don't know how many marbles that is worth. So I'm going to start with this first pan balance. I'm going to take away what I do know, what I can get rid of. So I can't get rid of the Pepsi. That has to stay. So I don't know how many marbles that is yet, but I have two marbles on this side. And I can take away two marbles on this side. So one bottle of Pepsi is equal to 10 marbles. Now I need to do some substituting. I have one bottle of Pepsi, two bottles of Pepsi, so I need to substitute one bottle of Pepsi for 10 marbles. And then I'm going to need to substitute the next bottle of Pepsi for 10 marbles as well. So I take off this bottle of Pepsi and I'm going to put in 10. So all together on this side we have 20 marbles is equal to one apple pie. Okay, here are your two quiz questions for tonight. So what you want to do is you're going to want to figure out on the second pan balance what do you need to know and what do you need to figure out on the first pan balance. So for the first one, we're trying to figure out one Hershey bar is equal to how many marbles. On the second problem, we're trying to figure out one parallelogram is equal to how many paper clips. You're going to want to pause the video and you might even want to draw out the problem to try to figure this one out. It's a lot easier if you can take the time and actually cross off what you're doing so that you can see what is equal and what gets removed from each side. Have a wonderful night.